Thank you for selecting this video in our Tips and Tricks video series. This video will help you get the most out of the TechStocks Deadlines Manager. The Deadlines Manager will keep track of your deadlines and help you stay organized. I will be using TechStocks anywhere, but whether you are using TechStocks or TechStocks Plus, Classic, or anywhere, the Deadlines Manager tool can be accessed in one of two ways. It can be accessed through the Tools menu or by clicking the Deadlines Manager button in the Essentials toolbox. The Deadlines Manager displays the date, description, and the client case to which the deadline pertains. Also, there will be a heading for each month within which the deadlines fall. The deadlines have been color-coded to differentiate between them. Past due deadlines are shown in red, today's deadlines are displayed in green, and black is used for upcoming deadlines. Using the drop-down menu next to Show, you will be able to sort through deadlines using a variety of filter options to better assist you in keeping track of your deadlines. The All Undone option will display all the undone deadlines for the entire firm. In order to view a single attorney's undone deadlines, select Undone by Attorney from the drop-down, and a second drop-down will appear for the selection of the attorney whose deadlines you would like displayed. From the drop-down, select the attorney whose deadlines you would like to view, and they will populate the Deadlines Manager. To view the undone deadlines pertinent to a case, choose the Undone by Case option from the drop-down, and a Select Case button will appear. Click the button and select the case for which you would like to view the deadlines, and they will populate the list. The same process as previously described to view undone deadlines can be used to view your done deadlines as well. Once you have selected the undone or done deadlines you wish to view, use the small buttons at the bottom left of the deadlines window to advance back and forth through the deadlines. Also, you can click the Print button to the right of the list to print the deadline's report. This will open up a report preview. Classic users will be able to use the Save As button to save the report as a PDF. After clicking the Save As button, a Get File Name pop-up opens. Click OK to save the default file name and location, or click the magnifying glass to change the file name and or location. Click the Print button if you would prefer to print the report. Anywhere users will need to use the Print button for both saving as a PDF and or printing. On the Report Preview, click the Print button. This will open up the Print window where you can either select a printer to print to and click Print, or select the Save as PDF and click Save to open the Save As window. You can click Save to save with the default file name and location, or you can also change the location and or the file name. Click the X to close the report and close to close the report preview. Deadlines can be added, edited, or deleted using the buttons at the bottom of the Deadlines Manager. Click the Add button to open the Deadline Will Be Added pop-up. Then select the case for which you would like to add a deadline, the attorney responsible for the deadline, enter the deadline date, and the deadline description. Click OK to save the deadline to the Deadlines Manager. You can also click the Deadline Calculator button and use the calculator to calculate your deadline. However, use of the Deadline Calculator will be covered in another Tips and Tricks video. Once you have selected a deadline on the Deadlines Manager, the Edit and Delete buttons at the bottom of the Deadlines Manager enable, as well as the Mark Done button on the right-hand side of the viewer. Clicking the Edit button will open the Deadline Will Be Changed pop-up, on which you can edit the deadline and click OK to save your changes and clicking the Delete will open a confirmation pop-up. Click Yes to delete the selected deadline. Please keep in mind that deleting a deadline and marking it done are two different actions with two different results. In order to mark a deadline done, highlight the deadline and click the Mark Done button on the right-hand side. This will open the Deadline Done pop-up. Enter the date on which the deadline was completed and click OK. The deadline is removed from the undone list and can be found on the done list. Also, note that once you select the deadline, if you right click on it, you open a menu with the same options as the buttons at the bottom of the manager. The discovery control plan will allow you to create multiple deadlines for a case at one time and also give you the ability to create any custom deadlines you may need for that case. The discovery control plan button will open the select the client case pop-up. Select the case for which you want to enter or manage discovery control plan deadlines, 
and the form on which you can enter several deadlines pertinent to a case will open. You can enter or edit dates for the pre-labeled deadlines and or enter custom deadlines. If it is the first time you are entering discovery control plan deadlines for a case, you will need to select an attorney responsible for the deadlines. Once you have entered or edited the deadlines in the discovery control plan, click OK to save the deadlines. Click Close to close the deadlines manager. TechStocks Plus users will enjoy the benefits of having deadlines show up not only on the deadlines manager, but also on the day at a glance for the attorney to whom the deadlines have been assigned, as well as the case manager for the case to which the deadlines pertain. And TechStocks Plus users will also be able to include deadlines in the task report, which will be covered in another Tips and Tricks video. Thanks again for watching this video. If you ever want to review this video, you will find this and other TechStocks videos under the Learning Center option at the top of the TechStocks desktop or on the Videos tab under the Essentials toolbox. If you have any questions or comments, please click the Contact Us button to open a menu of available contact options or give us a call or send an email.